I am in, in love with Snap. And whenever I use like a Mac, the window management just doesn't work for me in a lot of ways. And I'm, one of the re things I've just realized is it's because the lack of Snap. Like, so I'm constantly using Snap and just dragging a window title bar to either side of the screen and like that. But um, the keyboard shortcuts are really powerful with it too. A lot of people don't realize that you can hold the Windows key and press left or right, and then the window just shoots over there. You can mm -hmm. hold the Windows key, press up and left, and it'll go to the top left quadrant. Um, and then also on Windows 11, you know, this is one of those things that I think uh, I, you know, it's talked about, but I don't see a lot of people using it is if you mouse over the maximize button, you get this whole grid to choose from, you can also press Windows Z to open that. So it's funny, because that's the kind of thing Microsoft added, then they said it's to make it easier to use for people. But I don't know how many people in the real world are using this and discovering it. Yeah, I, I yeah, I agree. Uh, the discoverability is kind of limited to when you move a window around, you get that little pane at the top. Yeah. But yeah, I like so many things in Windows. If you know the keyboard shortcuts, I mean, it's always the most efficient way. And it just got better as well in uh, Snap did in, I can't remember if it was in Windows 11 23H2 or part of Moment 5, the most recent update, but they have suggestions now for Snap. So, um, you know, if you, you, can, you can actually get a couple of supposedly AI-based ideas about based on which window you ha are trying to snap and then what are the windows you have open, it will make suggestions. And uh, if you choose one, they all go there automatically, which is really cool.